Hi guys, welcome to Baraka Kitchen. Today we're going to learn how to make the most ancient Tunisian dish, which is called shakshuka. Shakshuka has been adapted in many other cultures, and I kind of feel and taste it that it lost the real taste. So I'm going to bring you back to the real taste of shakshuka. Let's go to the ingredients. I have here six soft tomatoes, two big onions that I chopped, I have black pepper, red paprika, salt, and only a half a teaspoon of chicken stock, spicy jalapeno, organic eggs, and one cup of boiled water. I already started heating up my frying pan for the shakshuka sauce, and I'm gonna start by chopping this jalapeno. If you don't like too spicy, you can take the seeds out. If you like spicy, you should leave the seeds because the seeds are going to make it more spicy. I'm just going to add it into my tomatoes. Now just very quick, when you cut into soft tomatoes, you always want to use a knife with it. That's the only way to cut through soft toma tomatoes. Don't try your luck because it's not going to work otherwise. Let's set it aside. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you exactly the measurement for the sauce. That's why I kept everything here. And I'm going to start by one tablespoon of red paprika. I'm adding it into my boil hot water. I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of black pepper and two half of teaspoon of salt. I'm adding, remember I told you I have a quarter of chicken stock. I'm going to mix it and I'm going to let it sit aside for a few minutes. I'm starting by frying the onion. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start with, um, with the onion. I'm going to put it into my hot oil. We don't want it to get burned, so stick next to it and stir, stand and stir and make sure it's not getting burned, just you want it to get the gold color. My, my fire is on medium low. Again, because you don't want it to get burned, you just want it to get the gold color. 10 minutes, our onion is ready. We are adding our tomatoes and the one jalapeno paper. Add it slowly, slowly. Perfect, just like so. Mix it, mix it all up, make sure all the ingredients are combined together. Just like so, I'm going to close the lid and I'm leaving it on, I'm going to leave it on medium. Right now, I'm going to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes, I'm going to see it, but for now 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, uh, start heating your oven on 420 and the next step will come soon. 15 minutes, I'm adding the cup of water with all my spices that we did before. Perfect, just like so. Give it a little stir and close it. Close the lid, put your fire on high, give it 10 minutes, about 10 minutes, we'll see. And we'll be ready to go to the next step. Our shashuka is ready, that's how it's supposed to look like. Now I have extra sauce here and the reason here. And the reason is because I'm using my uh, cupcake uh, giant pan. I want to serve I want to serve 12 people and I want each each person to get a nice dish. I want them to get the amount of sauce and one egg. So for me that's the trick of how to serve shashuka and how to make it. So I'm going to transfer the sauce into the cupcake the cup the yeah the cupcake pan just fill it up like that like so you don't want to fill it on the way up you want to leave some room for the egg so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna crack six eggs and put it on top I'm just gonna show you just leave it like so and do the same with the rest Alright, look at that. I'm going to drizzle some salt and pepper on top. 
and I'm gonna put it in the oven for 25 minutes. It doesn't need more spices, but it's gonna make it's gonna make the eggs looks beautiful. It's just making the dish looks a little bit more interesting. All right, I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Remember, it's been heated on 420, and I'm gonna add it for 15 to 25 minutes. 15 minutes in the oven, our shakshuka is perfect, ready, the smell is delicious. And I put it on a cooler tray right here. I also have a nice plate that I'm gonna serve it with. So if you have any nice plate, please use it. Look what I'm doing now. I'm taking this spoon and I'm just going down with the sauce under the egg, grabbing the sauce. And I'm gonna put it just like so. I'm gonna do the same with all the rest. See how easy it is to take out and also the eggs don't break. So each person, each guest you have can enjoy. Perfect dish. Look at that amazing appetizer. It can be a breakfast. Honestly, it can be even dinner or lunch. I love it. You can eat it on a baguette, on a piece of bread. You can add it to quinoa if you would like. I hope you're enjoying cooking with me today and I'll see you next time. Ciao.